All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing some practice with finding the dot product, okay? So we wanna find the dot product for these two vectors, okay? What we have written up here is the vector three comma two comma two, and we're dotting that with five comma six comma one, okay? This is the symbol for, it just means, it means dot, okay? We're, it's three two two dot five six one, and that gives us the dot product. All right, so how do we find the dot product? Well, remember, this, we just take our, our first set of components, okay, the three and the five, we're gonna multiply them together, okay? So we have a three times five. Then, we're going to add that to our next set of components multiplied together, okay? Which is a two and a six. Next, we're going to add that to our last set of components, which is a two and a one. We're going to multiply them together. Now we're just going to, well, simplify that a little bit, okay? We have a 15 plus 12 plus 2, okay, and that gives us 29. Notice that we are multiplying two vectors together, but getting a scalar. And that's why this is also called a scalar product, all right? So, so yeah. Now, Next, we have what do we have here. We have negative six, comma negative one, comma three, and we're going to be dotting that with the vector four, comma negative two, comma five. All right. Now, let's do this again. We take the first set of components, which is a negative six and a positive four, and then we add our next set of components. It's negative one and the negative two. Negative one and the negative two multiplied together. And then we add this to our next, our last set, the three and the five, the last set of components. We're going to multiply those together so to get a three times five. All right. Now we have a negative 24 plus two, okay, which gives us negative 22 that's going to be plus 15, okay? And that gives us negative 7. And there's your dot product. So now here's just two vectors in, in the different notation now. And now we have it uh, with our unit vectors, okay? So now we have vector A being 2i hat minus j hat plus 3k hat. And we have vector B as negative 4i hat plus 2j hat plus 6k hat. And we want to find vector a dot vector b okay so now i mean really what you can do here is you could just kind of convert this this with the, the unit vector notation into the uh, angle bracket notation okay so we have our a is two comma negative one comma three okay just the just the coefficients on i hat j hat and k hat okay and that's going to be dotted with negative four comma two comma six all right so going forward from there we're going to multiply our first two set of components that is going to be a two and a negative four which gives us negative eight okay we'll do it a little bit faster this time next we're going to multiply our second set of components and we're going to add it to this negative eight of a negative one times two that's negative two so we're going to have minus two. And lastly, we're going to multiply our third set of components and then add it on. So we have a three times six, that's 18. So we'll have a plus 18 here. So we have a negative eight minus two is negative 10 plus 18 is eight. Okay. And there's your dot product. So really, you know, just as simple as that. All right. Nothing too difficult here. Just to just a little, uh, you know, a small process to follow. And, uh, you know, there you go. You have your dot product. So that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors in the geometry of space, the explanation video for finding the dot product, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.